Hey guys, in a very surprising turn of events, PewDiePie starts playing MTG Arena. And that is how you know MTG Arena will replace Paper Magic. Um, you have the largest YouTuber, 85 million subscribers, playing MTG Arena. And he's actually not bad at magic. Uh, this is not like he's trying to learn magic. You can go ahead and watch the video. He actually knows how to play magic. He play. He knows about the mana curve. He knows about aggro. In the video, he plays a Boros deck, and he does a pretty good job as someone who plays Boros. And um, he makes good decisions. And I'm pretty sure that he's played magic before, like a lot before, or at least he's played with this deck. So, MTG Arena. I mean, it's what people want um it allows people to stream content so pewdiepie would never ever play magic online right magic online imagine any content creator who's not magic driven going to magic online and saying yeah i want to create some content on what seems to be a 1995 piece of software no so pretty much mtg arena I don't know if they paid him or sponsored. There is no link. There's no indication that this is sponsored. I assume that if it was sponsored, they would not want the video titled Angry White Men or Angry White People. And there would be some type of, oh, I'm sponsoring this. So he just played the game because he's curious and interested and decently good at the game. He won a few pretty close games and he knows... Uh, when the opponent played Risk Factor, he knew exactly what it did, and he selected the right button. I made the right choice in that card. So yeah, it's fascinating because he gets it. I mean, he absolutely gets it, and he knows how to play Magic. I didn't think he was a fan of Magic, but now that we know he plays, he's the biggest celebrity that plays Magic, far outpacing Wedge. And what I would say for Wizards of the Coast, if they're watching this video, whatever you need to do to get this guy to play, play more Magic, just throw money at him. Take all the money that you give Wedge and you give uh, Tolarian Community College and you give uh, Ephro and take all that money and then funnel the money. I mean, imagine seeing this guy at a Magic Fest, right? How many people would show up at that Magic Fest? And the beauty of it is the majority of his subscribers don't play MTG Arena. They watch a video of him playing it and enjoying it, which he does enjoy, and winning and saying, hey, maybe I can play MTG Arena as well one day. And then you learn that there's a Mythic invitation. You learn about all these prizes. It's a very logical step is to pay him to produce more MTG Arena videos, whatever it costs. Whatever it takes. If that means you have to not pay any pro Magic players, do it. Because this dude, given his subscriber base is young males from, let's say, 16 and under. That is the exact subscriber base, the exact demographic targeting that Wizards of the Coast needs for MTG Arena. This guy, and I guarantee you, watch the numbers. Watch the numbers of people playing MTG Arena after this video. It will dwarf anything Tolarian Community College or the Man of Swords can do. And that is the type of sponsorship you want. Again, I don't believe the video is sponsored only because the title is White Angry People. I assumed if he was getting paid, the title would be you know something related to MTG Arena to promote it. And You don't need... To sponsor magic content creators. By definition, they're sponsoring you already <laughs> from making the videos. What you need is you need the buggies. You need this dude. You, I mean, it's super obvious to me the path of the greatest success is using his platform of 85 million people to continue to watch MTG Arena, to continue to have fun, to make his jokes. He's playing this game for free. So he actually likes the game. 
you're not paying him money to play the game yet. So in my opinion, this is the type of person that you want to hire for any type of company, someone who actually likes your company culture and likes the product that you put out. And it's so insane to me that we keep paying the mana source money and we can't get together any sum of money to pay Rudy Alpha Investments or him or Boogie or any of these people who actually can help the game. Instead, we donate all of our hard earnings to a GoFundMe. So what if I told you the mana source? He was paid. He got a plane ticket. He got probably a stipend. I know he got at least a plane ticket and hotel for GP Vegas. He probably got a stipend. Um, his wife, now wife also probably had a hotel and plane, airplane paid for. And he doesn't even go to the event. He gets injured in a restaurant and then asks for $150,000. And then you, Magic Fest, Channel 5 will donate five to $10,000 to him. And all of, all of that money that people could be using to buy product at Magic Fest is now being used to donate someone who, I mean, either he's very negligent or intentionally injured himself by going to a event with known back pains. I mean, if you think about it, it's actually very smart, right? Because if you wanted to get your back fixed, wouldn't this be the way to do it, right? If your back was always hurting you, why not just get injured and then people will pay for your surgery? Anyway, back to this issue at hand. Yeah, this is the face of magic. He is the face of MTG Arena. He is the future for our game. Whether or not you like it, whether or not you like his political beliefs, you think he's a Nazi maybe, who knows. But he can bring, this one dude can bring, what's Tolarian at, 400,000? But the problem with those 400,000 is they already play Magic, so it's like not new customers. It's far less valuable. It's far more expensive to get a new customer than it is to retain an old customer. So whenever a company is trying to expand, um, they have to spend a lot more money going after new customers. And that's what we see with the women in Magic and movement, where we are targeting now women in Magic and trying to get them to play Magic. Uh, it's very expensive to do so. But if you wanted to acquire a large amount of young people who are into Minecraft and Roblox and uh, these games, that this is the way to do it. I've never seen him play Hearthstone before. I've never seen him play Artifact or any of these games. So it's, it's a shock to me that he's playing Magic the Gathering. And actually, it's a very good shock. This is going to change our game. Like Once I saw this video, I knew things are going to change. MTG Arena is now the real deal. I'm going to refer to it as an eSport now. Because it will have the viewership. It will have the young children viewing. Which is what in any eSport is, right? Like If you think about any eSport, what's the target demographic? So I would be fascinated... If uh, to see what happens next, um, it is something that I look at it. I watch the video. He knows how to play the game. It's not like a female magic player um, who has streamed the game for 33 hours and still doesn't know how to play the game. Who's never played magic. And you're just like, huh? So this person got invited to uh, the mythic invitation. Hmm. Special invitation. I see what's going on here. No, this is a dude who can play. Imagine inviting this dude to the MTG Arena. A, he probably would go. B, he would probably beat all the Magic pros because they're so used to cheating anyway. That, you know, when you put them in front of a camera, they can't cheat on that MTG Arena. I'm not sure what the Magic pros are going to do, actually. Should be pretty interesting. No cards and sleeves tricks anymore. This is the real deal. He's the real deal. I mean, he might not look like very much with his kidney ears and his... But man, the little kids love him. They absolutely love this dude. And he will dominate. He will dominate for MTG Arena. He can single-handedly make this. If he streams it once a week, MTG Arena will be the number one eSport. Mark my words on it. Whatever you need to do. If you need to take everyone's $75,000 salary, just... Tell them we regretfully inform you that you've been declined. 
um, and combine it to the $1 million to pay this dude, that's what you need to do. Because he can bring you far more, far more, and make you a legit eSport than any of those Magic Pros that no one cares about. Than any of these e-celebrities like Tolarian and Weds. Stop giving them money. Give this dude all the money. You should at least have a million dollar package ready for the guy. Because all he has to do, stream some MTG Arena once a week. He's already really into it. And you have just opened up 85 million people to your eSport. Anyway, bye guys.